Dozens of identities across Charlotte were stolen and used in a multi-state theft ring. And they used it to buy everything from hotel rooms to cars. Channel 9's Anthony Costura was in the courtroom this morning as one of those suspects faced a judge. Heather Westerfield made her first appearance in federal court this morning. She's facing a long list of charges after prosecutors say she and three others stole nearly half a million dollars in merchandise and luxury cars. Your mailbox should be secure. Your identity, sacred. But federal prosecutors say these four people profited off your personal information. The scheme stretched from the Carolinas to Tennessee and Georgia. Prosecutors say they would steal people's mail, real estate listings, and other public records. Then federal documents show the suspects use that information and their own pictures to create fake government IDs. Then with that, they'd go to places like Lowe's and Target and get credit cards in other people's names. Prosecutors say they'd even buy cars. The scheme racked up $450,000 in just a few months. But the scheme all unraveled at a Boone storage facility. One of the suspects had a unit go up for auction. Inside, police found stolen ID information and materials to make more. That's when police started tracking them down. Kevin Bennett, Rosario, and Jessica Sowell in Charlotte. Heather Westerfield, who had her first appearance in court today, was caught in Charleston. Dayton Kolzak was also busted in South Carolina. Police found dozens of fake licenses during their investigation. They're all charged with various counts of identity theft and fraud. For now, Westerfield is held in the Mecklenburg County Jail without bond, but she will be back in court later this month to determine if she'll be released with conditions. Back to you.